Well, we are about to do a thing. <laughs> Welcome back to the City Set, everyone. I am Josh. So, if you guys are not familiar with this channel, we are an urban homestead. We mostly do a lot of gardening, we do a little bit of beekeeping, when we do some composting here to try to build up our own little, you know, whole little systems, whole little environment uh, here at our city stead. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Uh, we actually have a half an acre lot in our city. We are very lucky to have such a large piece of land. Now, I am a believer that everybody should start wherever they are planting food if they have any interest in it whatsoever. If you are aspiring to be a homesteader and you wish you had 20 acres of rolling hills, <laughs> I think before you get to that point, you should start where you are. If it's an apartment, at a house, wherever it is, whatever you're doing. So I've been trying to think of different ways to help you maximize a smaller growth space so you can learn and practice different things to get you going. And that means things like this micro garden where I am trying to grow as much food as I possibly can in a four foot by four foot square and using all of my space vertically. And I will link that video right here for you and you can see how we've designed that bed and how we kind of planted it out and how we're trying to maximize all the space inside of that little four foot by four foot bed. But another way that I can help you guys learn how to grow or get to a point where you're learning skills to help you for when you do hit that dream of yours to move out to the country and have that big old farm, I thought there's something I don't see a lot of people ever really talk about and that is community gardens. So after doing a bunch of uh, looking into it and not seeing a lot of resources on how to actually get yourself into a community garden to be part of one, I thought it'd be really cool to make a series about it. And like I said, I'm just trying to get you guys to grow more, be able to be a little more self-sufficient. And a good way to start that would be to have a community garden plot. Uh, I think it's a really good tool. And even for like us, uh, we have a lot of critters and they actually built this really nice fence all the way around this place that's pretty impenetrable so we have a better chance of actually harvesting some things here without a groundhog eating them so there's a there's that plus so, you know diversify yourself a little bit uh, and you know it's gonna help us grow more food for ourselves so I'm gonna show you how we went about getting a community garden spot and how we are gonna to try to maximize all the area that we have in our community garden spot so the first thing you have to do if you're trying to get a community garden spot is actually locate a community garden so if you guys are looking for a community garden of your own, I suggest trying to Google search because you can find a lot of stuff just on Google. And if you can't have any luck that way, I would contact a church. As you can see, this is actually run by one of our local churches, which is down the road that way a little bit. And they actually run and put this all together, volunteer their time to make it happen. Uh, so that's a good option is if you contact some churches, maybe they can somebody there has a, a, a source to tell you where the community garden is or maybe they run one themselves uh, and on top of that really when we first saw this we were just walking around uh, for us it wasn't too hard I already knew where one was the kids and I happened to walk by it all the time and they had a big board out in front of it that had a cell phone number on it or a telephone number and so we just called the number but of course we didn't get anybody <laughs> for the first couple of times so we just got blank lines Oh, well, that was very anticlimactic. Well, I guess nobody's in yet. So since we weren't having any luck on that front, we actually went down for a walk and caught somebody while they're working on their little plot. And so I just struck up a conversation with them, asked them about it, how we get involved in the community garden and all that. And he gave me some contact information. And so I was able to send an email and then later got a phone number to be able to call somebody to meet them about getting the spot. Now we had always walked by this community garden and I was always disappointed because there's a lot of spots in there that are empty. And so I thought, you know, it's a really good time to do it, to try to teach people maybe they're unaware of how well, uh, how easy it could be to go to a community garden and get a spot and start growing a little bit of food for yourself. Even if you're just learning some skills to help you out in the future, it's a good thing to do. So we got our spot. We are number 22. 
<laughs> and we are super excited to take you on the journey of planting out and building a community garden spot. We now own this little spot. We just measured it out and this thing is eight foot across by 23 feet long. That's actually a lot of growing space. So I'm already trying to get in my head what we're gonna do. Kids are over here and they helped me pick it out. This is the best one the guy told us. So we are starting this a little bit late. So we're gonna be doing a few things different than what we would normally do. Just cause we gotta jump start everything to get this thing ready to plant out and actually grow a bunch of food. Back up! This is what we get to start with. This is actually a really decent starting point for garden soil. All right, you ready? He's gonna come till it up. By the cover of a willow He got down on his knees He buried all Of his hopes and dreams There beside A quiet stream he waited for the summer to make them bloom with the shovel in his sore hands looks like they probably did some beef before but maybe it's not so prevalent right now it'd be really cool to see that get fired back up took a little beekeeping down here set him down to sleep pretty awesome seeing so many different methods of garden straw bale this is the only straw bale I see in all of this garden and I got a bunch of friends that do straw bale gardening we got lots of uh, kind of wood chips mulch type gardens a lot of just all sorts of really cool I love the way the, the way they are and just very unique different ways of growing and but, I mean there are some really really beautiful garden beds in here very well taken care of you can tell how much people actually care about them here so I'm super excited to be part of this uh, little uh, community garden and hopefully uh, as time goes on we get to meet more and more people that are actually here I've only met the one guy so far but uh yeah I think the more time we spend down here the more we'll actually get to make a network of community uh, you know become part of this uh, network of community gardeners here at this big old community garden <laughs> Hopefully we can actually get more people interested in coming down here and uh, starting themselves a plot because I think it's super important, especially with times the way they are right now, uh, that people have access to some sort of gardening. And this is a very good way for people to do it. Uh, you know, you can kind of go somewhere, do your gardening and go home. Uh, kind of makes it more like a work-like, you know, you're not at home thinking about all the other projects you got. You can kind of go down to the community garden and do what you got to do and then go back home and worry about that stuff. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna get out of here now because I gotta get back home. So guys, remember, be bold and grow bold. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, whose is that? Oh yeah, that's ours. <laughs> <laughs>